Welcome to another episode of Black Cat Crafts. My craft today is a poseable pumpkin vine. So you can buy pumpkin vines, um, they're static, they don't move. And I find those good, but not great. And so our craft today fixes that. We wanna make it great. We wanna make it something that we can move, we can adjust for different spooky town layouts. Um, so let's get right into the craft and look at our supplies. So we'll start with some clay pumpkins. You can either buy them. I made mine and I'll show you how in the comments. We'll also need a few more things. I use some basic garden training wire, super cheap, and some epoxy, not shown. I did switch up to some super glue later on in the project for some specific things. We'll also do printable pumpkin leaves. These were free. I'll tell you more about them later in the project. The last thing I needed was some green twist ties. Those make additional poseable sections of our vines. So, first step, let's make the tendrils. If you're not familiar with those are, those are the little curly cues often found in various places on a pumpkin vine. This step is optional, but for me, it adds the right amount of realism and also some charm to this particular project. So I recommend you taking this time to do it. This step can be done with bare hands, but I used a needle on those pliers. It just makes this part so much easier. So to do it, you'll just get two pieces of wire, um, the wire that you'll use for the tendril. Make it a little long, you can always cut it down later. Notice as you twist the, the tendril, the plastic sheathing on the wire um, bends, but not as far as the wire itself, so we have a little nibble sticking out. Um, go ahead and, and trim that off when you're done. And you have tendrils that can be attached later. I did use the glue to attach them, so you don't need to leave extra to wrap around the, the other vines later. Okay, let's talk about those leaves. I previewed this earlier. If you watch my channel, you know I do a lot with printables as a nice shortcut for those of us who are artistically challenged or simply need uh, something time-saving. Notice how I did the same image from the Creative Commons, so it's free to use. I did it in different sizes because you want different size leaves. I also made my sheet, plain printer paper, double-sided. All right, so cut out those leaves and then the next step will be to attach it. So you're going to get what you see on screen in the end. So that's where we're going, but let's, how do we get there? Okay, so start with those green twist ties. Mine were a little thick for the project, so I did cut them down. Um, do save the piece you cut off later because you could use it as well. Now that's a paper one. I know they make them in plastic. They, they do come in different sizes. So, um, you know, whatever really works for you is, is best. But there you go. Now set that aside and let's glue on the pumpkin. This is that, that epoxy. It does take time to dry, so I did cut various lengths of vine for my pumpkin, and then I did that step, and while that's drying, I get, went back and started working on my leaves. So once you get the twist ties to the length you like, then you'll want to look at gluing on the leaves. As you can see, that one's double-sided. Yes, I used a plain inkjet printer, no fancy ink. I didn't even use the photo setting. Just printed them out as they were. Now, later in the project, it did switch from the epoxy to super glue, and you'll see that this leaf does fall off. So, um, highly, highly recommend using some super glue. It just is faster. Again, easy is a big focus of my whole channel, and you know, definitely wanna have you experience how easy some of these crafts can be. All right, so wrap the end of the twist tie around. Oh, there you see, the leaf fell off. It'll glue back on, it still has the glue on it. So wrap that twist tie around the vine, and then you'll add a little dab of glue to um, make sure it stays on the vine where you want it. So this can be done with the epoxy, or in my case again, as I mentioned earlier, I did switch over to super glue. Now I, I do like the epoxy for the, attaching the wire to the pumpkins, because I think that it is, has a more powerful hold so um, you can try using super glue for those uh, it's really up to you i don't think there's a, a right or wrong answer here so once you've got the vine in the place you like you can reattach your leaf or attach it for the first time if you do it uh, the recommended way and then set it aside to dry now you're going to need a lot more vines and a lot more leaves because you typically see more than one leaf on a vine and so 
as we work through this project, you'll see how we get there. Now at that step, I did add a tendril. Again, I just glued it on with that epoxy. So let's talk about those leaves that I mentioned. So one thing you'll see with pumpkin leaves is that they're not very flat. In fact, oftentimes they're almost cup shaped. And so as you saw there, I was almost bending it a little bit like a paper airplane um, to get that look. It just adds, again, some depth, some realism. It is an optional step, but one I think looks really beautiful. So as you continue to add your leaves, you'll see that the different sizes, bending the leaves, putting them in different places, really makes this project come alive. And I think it looks great in my diorama. So I did that cornfield. That was a free project. Um, I, I used weeds to make that, and I think they look spectacular. Uh, video for how I did the gravel um, leading up to the corn maze will be coming soon. Um, spoiler alert. I totally cheated and that whole project took longer to dry than it was to make. So I'll show you how I took a shortcut on that. So this has been Black Cat Crafts. It's a channel of miniatures with a spooky Halloween focus. Perfect for board gaming, Halloween dioramas, spooky train sets, kind of whatever you're into. Thanks for stopping by and I hope you subscribe.